Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. It's uh, it's Rad from Rad Tarot, and uh, in this whole video, we're gonna look into uh, Cancer Sun, Cancer Moon, and as well uh, Cancer Rising weekly general tarot reading July, not July, August, August 9th up until August 15th, uh, 2021, and uh, the matter. The method or the technique I'm going to use into this video, it's the Elemental Dignities Technique, which will allow me to read cards in pairs. Uh, so in other words, combos. And if you are interested into this technique, the course is now live and it's on sale right now for $40. Uh, for it, you are going to receive a one video course, one hour video course uh, alongside with a PDF as a, uh, as a handbook. Also, uh, if you are interested in a personal reading with me or if you do want to take my full tarot course, checking out the description down below is going to give you a link to my website where you can view and purchase either or both of these services. So with that being set aside, uh, moving to the general reading for Cancer, the first card that you do Cancer have, uh, that will be uh, the Eight of Pentacles, uh, followed by the second card, the second prime card here, that will be the Ace of Wands. Uh, moving next, what we have, that will be the Five of Wands. And uh, the last card of your spread, Cancer, uh, that will be the Strength card. So it will be very uh, driven, dynamic driven week uh, for you, where at the start of the week, it will take a little bit of a preparation and a little bit of a planning, so to speak. But after that, when the things take off, and they are going to take off, because here what we can see, it's some kind of a, uh, um, I can't, well, we are about to see that, all right, but it's going to be nonetheless a quite of a efficient and gaining for enterprise that you are to have at your behalf throughout this, uh, throughout this week, that many of you, and even I could say almost all of you are going to feel compelled at least researching into it and that exactly it is what is going to be the dynamic and uh yeah that that will pretty much going to be the driven force for you throughout the week now this enterprise could be a new job client project love etc etc but it will be a dynamic driven thing and starting out the week here with the very first card, which is the Eight of Pentacles, and it is catalyzed by the Three of Pentacles. So we do have a passive supporters, and these two cards are speaking for a few things, but above everything else, they do uh, announce, so to speak, the, uh, the support you are to receive that will support you through your development. Uh, these two cards could speak about the investors you have hoping for, you know, or, or the approach or the proposition, you know, or generally the appearance of the people that you are hoping for. They could also speak about the circumstances aligning, which are uh, allowing you to address every finest detail into your situation the way you wanted to do it so. But these uh, these two cards here are speaking that a very well established plan is going to take place and it will be now possible to be manifested. Now, in this early stages of the week, regardless uh, of what you are going to go through there, you can expect to have a lot of fruitful discussions with people around you, uh, like, for example, your business partners, for example, your colleagues, for example, you know, uh, people of interest as a romantic interest or simply it could be your family or your beloved one as well and within these conversations there are going to be a lot of criticism which criticism is going to address exactly these small and minor details that after the criticism comes about you will be compelled to address those minor details which a huge portion of conscientiousness and that is going to pay off a big time moving forward into the future in fact it will pay off so big that the ace of wands takes place and it is accompanied with the lover's card did i say the gaining for enterprise let's make it in plural because that is exactly what we have here few of them the very least two of the enterprises 
and uh, that will be simultaneously a uh, again these are the cards we have uh, the uh, ace of wands uh, catalyzed by the lovers card we have a active friends here and um, while it is a good thing pointing to a gaining for enterprises which are to make you be very harmonious or they are going to be harmonious to you harmonious interactions with somebody you know harmonious job harmonious love if you will uh, there is a, a bad side to it too like i said they are in plural and the bad side of this combo here that we have it is that you cannot have all of these enterprises you can have one maybe two maybe three but not all of them and uh, therefore you will have to decide at that point which of these enterprises you would want to be involved in no different than having two people to date with okay and eventually you will have to decide whom you are going to move forward with in terms of uh, a committed relationship you cannot commit with both of them you just have to be with only one therefore you cannot have all such kind of a uh, um, such kind of a decision it is what you will need to do towards the middle of this week but uh, aside from that it seems that your uh, issues concerns and problems as this uh, these gaining for enterprises open up are going to start uh, resolving themselves on their own accord and right after that we have the five of uh, ones catalyzed here by the death card A typical example of where um, afflictions become virtue, of where failures transform into success. A typical example where the tenacity or the determination, the unyielding nature of oneself does not allow one to end up in the, uh, in the rock bottom or at the rock bottom and down in the dumps. Here, those uh, two cards are speaking about the sense and the, the, the sheer will to prevail and the sheer, um, I don't know how to say it, when you are very keen or when one is very keen to take advantage of every single opportunity. We do have a, a word in our language, but I don't know it in English, okay? Or maybe I know it, it's just I can't figure it out right now. But th this is exactly what you are to be at the after the middle of the week, moving towards the end of the week. And uh, it does seem that you are to dodge bullets. You are to avoid failures, not just only avoid, avoid failures, but making those failures into success. A tremendous moment here, okay? Um, at the uh, at the towards the end of the week where afflictions like I said are to become virtues that is the moment where very surprising events are going to give you the means you need to take the upper hand career-wise and as well relationship-wise and right after that guys the uh, strength card takes place which is oh my god catalyzed by the magician we do have a active friends by the way the previous combo here was a active enemies so we do have a active friends and that is i i don't have even words to describe it to be honest it is so broad and and, and powerful that is because this uh these elemental dignity or these active friends it speaks about the multicolorful nature of of your nature it they they do speak about the oh my god it's so difficult to describe it uh the i would try to say it that way the in every given moment at the end of the week no matter what the situation is going to be career-wise or relationship-wise you will have the right approach the right means okay the right attitude everything is going to be right for you everything to the very minor detail is going to be right for you to do the things the way you want or to to want to make what you or to, yeah to to want to make what you want to make the way you want to make it I, I don't know even how to say it additionally to it at the end of the week you can't expect your sovereignty to be indomitable therefore 
Uh, there will be no one who will even going to cross their mind to to mess around with you. And uh, also these cards speaks for sheer determination to prevail, but it is much stronger than the previous cards, right? Here, uh, the previous cards, it is because one denies failure, while with these cards, it is because die uh, or Dao, uh, it sees light at the end of the tunnel. You are to see that what you are after, it's right there, and you can, giving a, enough efforts behind it, which you will have no problem here, it's, it's pretty much accomplishable. And uh, at the end, you can also expect a lot of passionate times at the end of the week with these two cards. If you are single, mind you, at the end of this week, you are going to catch an eye of somebody who will like you for who you are. Okay, they will not try if they are to approach you. They will not going to try to change you. There will be no stipulations. There will be no uh, requirements. Okay, because you have fulfilled all of them. And again, the end of the week, it is when you are to catch an eye of somebody, when they are to show up, that is up to the future. So with that being said, Cancer, that was your weekly general tarot reading, guys, August 9th up until August 15th, 2021. Hopefully you do enjoy it and you do like it and we are to see each other next time. Until then, bye.